Bill the Flavor Guy here, and today we're running super critical extraction. We're extracting kava kava, and we're gonna show you that process from start to finish. Whether we're running kava kava, cinnamon sticks, or vanilla beans, this is what it looks like. In this root are some really neat chemicals, a combination of polyphenols, bioflavonoids, a really cool stuff that we wanna take in the form of kava is inside this root. And you can buy this in the tea form. In fact, you can buy from our sister company, Select Tea. We sell kava uh, in a tea bag. Um, and it's about this fine ground right here. This grind right here, incidentally, is from this root. So we take this root and we wanna get a lot of surface area for the CO2 extractor. By the way, it doesn't matter whether we're running this in an alcohol extraction or if we're running it in the CO2 extractor, we want the root ground up because we want as much surface area making contact with either liquid CO2 or alcohol that would be in one of our alcohol extractors. The more surface area, the better the extraction, and you'll see in a minute um, what comes out of this machine. It's really incredible. Now, we can run any plant material in CO2 extracting, just like you can in an alcohol or water phase extraction. The difference is in CO2, it has to be absolutely dry as we can get it. So we like to get down to three, not more than 5% moisture. Why does it have to be dry? Because any amount of water that's inside this root, the CO2 is in a liquid form. We start out with a gas, we chill that gas and put it under intense pressure, get it into a liquid, and then it acts like a solvent. When it acts as a solvent, it's washing this material. So it's really cool. Liquid CO2 is washing and taking and stripping away those, those plant uh, you know, chemicals, if you will, lack of a better word. I know chemicals sound scary, but it really is natural chemicals that are occurring in the root. And it washes those away. And that all happens inside this tube right here. These tubes are filled with that powder. And now liquid CO2 is flowing through them. And, as, and actually it's flowing from the bottom up. And as it flows across, it goes into these chambers right here. And each one of these chambers is a, where the supercritical extraction occurs. And what supercritical extraction is, is it's a liquid, in this case CO2, going to a solid and then to a gas. And when it does that, all those oil-based ingredients, chemicals, bioflavonoids, polyflavonoids, uh, are released. It's almost like raining those, those ingredients out of the kava root. And that's where the cool part is, because we then pull that material out. While it's running, we squirt it out into a beaker and we collect it. There are two uh, separators here because some of the liquid and solid continue to flow past to a second extractor and even a third extractor right here and, and finish going through the supercritical phase. And so we can extract from all three of these. And so what's gonna come out of here is this, this plant extract in a waxy form, somewhat liquid and waxy. And inside that, it, what we're really after is what's called kava lactones. That's the active ingredient in kava kava. And that's what makes you feel relaxed. That's what kava kava is about. When you take kava kava tea in a, in a tea bag and put it in hot water and drink that, you're getting some of these kava lactones and kava kava is known to help you relax. When we feel that we've extracted everything, then we switch uh, this particular tube over to another tube that's waiting, ready to go. We unload this one and then we add new stuff to it and we'll go right back to it again. So we're constantly cycling between these two chambers, about four kilos at a time. We run cinnamon in it, cloves, vanilla beans, lavender, roses, any dried plant material that contains essential oils or these natural compounds or chemicals, um, we're after those. If I wanna make a really high-end flavor, a really high-end perfume, and I want the best, you know, uh, not heat affected uh, or heat extracted or alcohol extracting uh, uh, compounds, I'm gonna do CO2. That's by far the highest quality. So now let's take a look at what the finished product will look like. This is pure kava lactone. It's quite waxy, so I can hold it upside down. At room temperature, it's a solid. It took a lot of plant material to get with about two to three pounds worth of the kava lactone. And uh, smells woody. I actually like chewing on the root. That's another way to take it. You can take this root, take a little piece off, 
and just start chewing on it. Yeah, it tastes like wood, not very tasty. Almost immediately, you start to taste the bitterness and then you start to get a numbing effect on your palate. You like that numbing effect to come in fairly quick because the bitterness is pretty strong. If you have any questions or ideas uh, how we should use kava or you want to know more, just email us and uh, hopefully we can answer your questions. All right, this is Bill the Flavor Guy saying um, look forward to the next video. Bye.